Hey guys, I'm Raul from Simply Learn and welcome to the session on AWS certification. In this session, I'll be telling you about several things like why AWS is so important. Next, we'll talk about the job roles in AWS, the career path to become an AWS solutions architect, the certifications that are available in AWS and companies that are hiring in 2020. Also guys, if you have any questions regarding the topic or AWS, let us know in the comment section below. Our team of experts will help you as soon as possible. Now, before we get on to this, let's talk about why or what exactly is AWS. AWS or Amazon Web Services is a cloud computing platform that offers more than 175 different services across several domains. Now, among the several cloud service providers in the market right now, like Microsoft Azure, VMware, Rackspace, and so on, AWS is more commonly used than any of its competitors. But what makes AWS so special? Why must you get certified by them? So to answer our earlier question, let's have a look at 2019's third quarter's cloud market share, which is provided by Canalys. Now, AWS dominated the cloud service market share with 32% of the entire share and it had a growth of over $2.3 billion year over year. Now you can see in the graph here that Azure and GCP only account for 17% and 7% rep respectively. The others like Rackspace and IBM Cloud are contributing 44%. Now, if you do need more convincing as to choosing AWS, let me give you more reasons why. Firstly, it provides pay as you go pricing, which means you only pay for how much you use. Now you use what you need and then the costs are scaled automatically and accordingly. Now, for example, say you use EC2, which provides virtual machines. You only use for how much virtual machines you've created and how long you use them. AWS is also very secure. Now this provides end to end privacy and security and storage. AWS also has experience. Now, AWS has over four years of leg up over other cloud service providers like Microsoft Azure. This means over the years, they have skills and infrastructure management that can give you more. Next, AWS is also very flexible. This allows users to select their operating system, language, database, and other services with great ease. AWS is also very easy to use. You can host your applications very quickly and securely, whether it's existing or a completely new application. AWS is also extremely scalable. Now, if you're a small scale company, you don't need a lot of resources. AWS understands that and scales down. If you're a larger organization, obviously you're going to need a lot more resources. AWS can help with that as well. Now let's talk about the job roles within AWS. Now, here are some of them. These, are, these aren't all of them, but we have AWS Cloud Architect, SysOps Administrator, Cloud Developer, System Integrator, Cloud DevOps Engineer, Solutions Architect, Network Specialist, and Big Data Specialist. Now, getting each of these roles becomes much easier when you're certified by AWS. Now, let's talk about the steps you need to take so that you can become an AWS Solutions Architect. Now we are selecting this one because this is one of the most common and talked about job roles in AWS. Now most of the job, ro job roles I mentioned earlier have similar steps for, but with a few steps added or removed somewhere else. Now first off, you need an understanding of operating systems. You'll need to have a basic understanding of operating systems like Windows or Linux. Now although this isn't exactly mandatory, this will help you understand cloud services better since most of them are based on Linux. Next up, you need to have experience with programming languages. Languages like SQL, Go, Python, c -sharp, .NET, and so on will help you develop cloud-based applications based on requirements from your organization. Now, although this isn't mandatory either, some services do require coding so that you can use them properly. In the next step, we have networking. You need to understand networking fundamentals like virtual networks, local area networks, wide area networks, networking models, and so on. 
Now, this is really important because this will help you understand how the backend infrastructure of the cloud works. After that, the most self-explanatory step, learn AWS. Now, you need to focus on learning the different services that are offered by AWS. Now, AWS provides a year-long free tier where you get access to several important services like EC2 and S3. So you can use it to get practical experience with these services. Now you can decide among several different career paths that are offered by AWS. Paths like Cloud Practitioner, Cloud Architect, Cloud Developer, Operations, DevOps Engineer, and certain some others. And finally, you need to be certified by AWS. You need to choose from different levels of certification that are provided by AWS. These can help you showcase your proficiency in working with different AWS solutions. Now let's talk about certifications available in AWS. Now, as you can see on screen, there are three levels, four actually. Firstly, you have foundational level certification that includes the cloud practitioner certification. Now for this, you need to have six months of basic cloud knowledge and industry knowledge as well. So basically the cloud practitioner certification acts as the starting point for just about every other job role you want to take, be it architect, operational or developer. Then in associate, you need to have a year of experience working with AWS cloud, solving solutions and in implementing solutions. You have options for solutions architect, sysops administrator, developer, and so on. And finally, you have professional level certification. Now, after two years of experience with the AWS cloud, you can take up the certification. You have options of solutions architect professional and DevOps engineer professional. Now, there are certain specialty certifications that are provided by AWS. These are based on advanced networking, big data, security, machine learning, and Alexa Skill Builder. Now, let's have a look at AWS's website. Let's go to Google, search for AWS certification. And here you can see that like, like I told you, here are the certifications. Let's go to the bottom here. And you can see that here, all the certifications that I mentioned are divided into different levels. Like I told you, Cloud Practitioner, Architect, Developer, Operations, and DevOps Engineer. Let's have a look at Cloud Practitioner. So here, you can see the steps you need to take to become a Cloud Practitioner. Now, AWS suggests that you take up their course and then follow it up by taking their certification test. Now, similarly, let's have a look at how to become an AWS Cloud Architect. You can select the link here. So like we saw with Cloud Practitioner, they give you a set of courses you need to take, followed up by a certification test. Basically, you need to first get the associate level certification and then move on to the professional level certification after you've gotten some experience and knowledge. Similarly, you can look at other job roles like developer, very similar, and operations. Likewise, everything else you can see here. Now let's go back and talk about the companies that are hiring in 2020. So this is basically every company that's hiring in 2020. So you have examples like IMDB, Lamborghini, Adobe, Bitdefender, HTC, and so much more. This is just the tip of the iceberg. And with that, we've reached the end of this session. I hope you guys found this informative and helpful. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to stay updated about more tutorials and live sessions. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.